three. So this is your math lesson four. It's for Friday. And for today, you will be working on practice 4A. So remember, you, yesterday you finished this part, the top part. Today, you are finishing questions 6 to 11. And these are all word problems. Okay, and I am looking at page 75 of your math textbook, Practice 4A. So for this, you need your math spiral books. You may also need your multiplication sheet. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. Set up your page. Have today's date at the top. And let's start. And I will do two questions with you, and then you get to do the rest on your own. Okay, and also remember, because these questions are related to either multiplication or division, so most of these questions would involve dividing or multiplying the numbers. Okay, so let's start with number six. I'll do number six with you guys. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to read the question. Please follow along. So the question is, there are six players in one team. How many players are there in 14 teams? So we need to ask ourselves, so if there are six players in one team, how many would there be in 14? Now, would it be less or would it be more? It would be more. So that means we need to multiply our numbers because multiplying means making it bigger. So we are going to multiply our 6 and our 14. But let's say if we didn't understand the question, what else can we do? to understand the question better. So we can draw a picture, right? And we can do in we can draw a picture and then we can start doing the question. So let's see. There are 6 players in one team. How many would there be in 14 teams? So we know part of the problem, right? We know there are, so there are in one team. So let's say the circle is a team. There's 6 in one team, right? And they're asking us how many players would there be in 14. So we are going to, let's say we draw 14 circles because in each team there are how many? Six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So imagine, so you can also draw a picture and ask yourself, okay, how would I do this question? Now, there are, so they're asking us how many players would there be in 14 teams. Now, if you look at this, six, we know that in one team, there are six players. So all together, if each circle is for, uh, a team, so we go and we say six, we can do it two ways. We can either go ahead and count all our sixes or we can do it in a quicker way so one way was draw a picture the other way is we know that there are six in one and we know we have to multiply so we can quickly multiply our numbers rather than drawing a picture right so let's do it this way. So we, we could have done it this way. 6, we can do counting 6, 12, then keep going all the way until we get our answer. Or we can do it here. 6, we need to multiply our 6 to our 1s. Then we need to multiply our 6 to our 10s. So 6 times 4 gives me... 24, right? I went to my multiplication sheet and I looked at 6 times 4 and it gives me 24. So I'm going to write my 1s here. My 10s goes at the top. 
6 times 1 gives me 6. And 2, I'm going to add my 2 at the top. So 6 times 1 gives me 6, 7, and 8. So how many players are there in 14 teams? 84. There are 84 players. And I'm done. Okay, let's do another one. And then you will get to try the rest on your own. Okay, let's do I'm going to do number nine. Okay, so I'm going to read it for us. So let's pay attention. Mr. Kim tied 192 books into bundles of six each. How many bundles were there? So he tied not 192 books into bundles of six each. So in each bundle, there are six uh, books. But they're asking us how many bundles are there. So we are not going to. So if I had 192 books. And I put them into bundles. Am I multiplying them? Or am I dividing the books into bundles? What do you think? If you said dividing, you're absolutely right. Because I am dividing my books into bundles. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to divide 192 to 6, right? Because these are the number of books in each bundle. And I need to find out, well, how many bundles are there? Because that's the question, how many bundles were there? So Mr. Kim, he had 192 books. So let's find out how many bundles did he make. So again, can I fit this six into this one. No, so I need to combine my one and my nine. So it's become 19. I go back to my multiplication sheet. And remember, I look for, I look for six times table. And I look at the multiples of six times table. I need something that is 19 or closer to, but I cannot have anything bigger. So six, 12, 18, 24. Which, which multiple do I need? I need 18, right? That's right. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to write 18. Now, how many sixes made 18? Three sixes, right? So my three went at the top. Grades three, I just made a... I, it's not a mistake, but I know you guys are used to writing your number at the top first. That's how we should always do it. Okay, so I needed three sixes. So I used three sixes to make this 18, right? Then I subtract and it is nine take away eight gives me one. Am I done? No, I still have to divide. I need to bring this two down. Right? Now I need to break this number, divide 12 and six, right? So I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to my six times table. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna look at the multiples of six times table. Six, 12, oh, there is exact. I don't need to go any further. So how many sixes give me 12? Two sixes, I need two sixes, two sixes to make this 12. And I go back and I multiply 2 times 6 gives me 12. I'm left with nothing. So my remainder is 0. And my quotient is 32. So how many books did Miss, how many bundles did Mr. Kim have? He had, he had 32 
bundles. Okay, now I'm done my question. So in these questions, grade three, in these word problems, you may sometimes have to draw a picture if you do not understand it, that's okay. Remember, we always do it in the classroom. So you can draw a picture to help you, or you can do it straight if you need, if you don't need to draw a picture. And on that note, good job. You have finished your week of math, and I will see you next week in class.